Hello lovelies, did you miss me? She, what's up guys, Stock here again, uh, this is Sadaki's take on appearance and how that kind of, in my eyes, sort of works in terms of relationships and interactions with other people. So here we go. Basically we have two categories and I wrote this thing out on top of the little whiteboard that I have because I can't afford a bigger whiteboard, so don't hate me. I got this from Walmart, not that I'm advertising for them, so don't kill me for that. But we have two basic parts, let me just erase this really fast because that's embarrassing, but we have two basic parts right here. We have external, which is physique, appearance, hygiene. I kept this very simple so you guys can pretty much understand the the inner workings of me in a simplified way. But yeah. And then we have internal, which is emotions and knowledge. Now, how does that work, you're asking, right? Obviously. So let me break it down for you guys. So we got physique, right? Physique is pretty much your stature, what you look like, your your physical appearance that you really can't do much about except to put makeup on or to shave your hair or whatnot. You know, this is what you're born with and yeah, if, even though you wish you were six inches taller or or whatnot, yeah, it's pretty much what you got. I mean, in essence, if you want more muscle, then yeah, you can lift weights and take supplements and you can gain more muscle that way. If you want to get fatter, then you can eat more and be more lazier and you can get fatter, but that's about as negotiable as your physique is, in my mind. So, the next one, of course, is appearance. Now, that's your clothing. Your pants, brand name, not brand name, your jacket, your hat, your sunglasses, your socks, your shoes, your slippers, those kind of things, different combinations, whatnot, equates to an appearance externally. Obviously, you can't wear clothes on the inside of your body. That just doesn't make any sense. So, of course, that also pays, you know, in, uh, not pays, but of course, I wish it paid, but that, that also adds to the external features that you are giving off to people in the public. Obviously, and of course, lastly is for external is hygiene. Do you take care of yourself? Is your hair well kept? You know, are you clean shaven or not? Does your breath stink? Do you brush your teeth? You know, does, do you have BO? Do you wear deodorant? Do you wear deodorant? Honestly, do you do you take a shower every night? Do you shampoo and condition your hair and sh uh, you know wash your body and use a scrubber and you know pluck out the white hairs because God knows I don't do that. Internal. Now we got emotions and knowledge, it's just very simplified once again, very simplified form of what actually is in my head and what's going on. But uh, emotions, simple. We act our emotions out. Externally, we act out our emotions that we're feeling internally. If we're happy, you know, we're just, you know, we're all happy or if we're sad, we're hmm. And of course, this is me over-exaggerating the emotions, obviously. A lot of us do like to hide it and we have different variations of emotions based on, you know, what our defense mechanisms dictate we do or don't do, what they dictate we show or we don't show, and different scenarios and situations that we're in that dictate that we do it this way or do it that way for the sake of this, this, and this, for example, of course. And, of course, knowledge. In short, emotions and knowledge. Of course, it gets a whole lot more complex and whatnot in my head, but once again, simplified version. <laughs> knowledge in my head is what you know, your intellect, what you've learned, what you've accumulated up here in your mind that people can see how much or how little you know by what you're acting out physically. Obviously, I cannot act a certain way that I don't know. Right? Let's make sense. I cannot speak in Dutch if I don't know Dutch. I cannot act the way somebody in Holland acts if I am not Holland-ish. And I've never been to Holland or Europe for that matter and can't imagine possibly how they dress or how they walk or how they talk. I, I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's like that. You can't act what you don't know. So people who know this kind of thing or they have this kind of thought process in their mind, this is how they gauge people. This is how I personally gauge people more or less. It's based off of the external features, based off the internal features. Combine it together. It kind of paints a nice clear picture as to the type of person they are, whether or not they give a damn about themselves or not, by the external features. Whether or not they're well kept or not, by what they wear and how they hold themselves up, if they shave or they don't shave, if they take an interest in their body or what they smell like in the public. Of course, if they're in shape or not. You can tell by whether or not they're in shape or not, obviously, for, you know, in short. And on the inside, knowledge. People act out what they know or they can't possibly act out what they don't know. Case in point. Same with emotions. Are they in check? Are they not in check? Are they just like, whoa, like a maelstrom that you just throw at people, like, I'm angry, uh, Hulk smash, uh, 
or you know like that's that's pretty much how it is and people have their own ways of doing it and once again this is Saraki's way of doing it this is Saraki's mentality and thought about it but everybody has their own way of gauging whether or not it's safe to engage with this person you know with your words or verbally to see if you know what kind of person it is or isn't and that's not to say that okay everybody's confident they're just gauging pretty much purely off of whether or not the person is or isn't worth gauging or they're safe or unsafe to you know verbalize with because that's that's once again simplistic you know you got a lot of other small things that go inside it like whether or not they're confident or not etc 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 that go into whether or not they're gonna want to go over there and say something <sighs> so in short Tadaki's once again simplified version of external internal appearance how that plays into human interaction and relationships um, let me show it to you guys one more time there we go External, physique, appearance, hygiene. Once again, simplified version. Internal, emotions, and knowledge. Intellect, what you know. So, for that, that's, that's all she wrote. And I will see you guys when I see you guys. So, don't forget to subscribe and or comment and or like down below if you guys like anything you guys see, have seen so far. If you guys want to search me up some more, it's all right down there. And I will see you guys later. So stay funky, brass milky, stay chill, kimosabis, and I'll catch you guys later. Shoots.